Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are the Airy Marco No Sinners. And um, if this is your first time on this channel, we want to say a very big welcome to you. Okay. You'd love it here. On this channel, we talk about faith in Christ Jesus. We talk about lifestyle. We talk about family. We talk about relationships. We talk about parenting, a bit of finance. My wife likes to argue about this, but somewhere along the line, we're also going to make videos about fashion. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well forget her laughter what what is instagram for it's okay sure. yeah today we are going to be sharing with you something very important lessons i believe uh would be beneficial to you Belefi Belefi hmm. oh. Belefi are you hungry uh <laughs> you know i'm on the mountain all right so we're going to be talking about why and how we got married you know that you guys have a lot of questions when it comes to how we were able to get married the age we got married how our dating process went the challenges i don't like to use the word dating i'm pretty old school if you if you may I prefer to use the word relationship okay well, dating just sounds easier to see that yeah, it sounds... relationship sounds more like what our parents and all those older generation people would use that's why they are still married <laughs> But dating is still a relationship. Yeah. It's still under relationship. Okay, let me explain what dating is to you. Dating is we set a date <laughs> where we are going out. Okay. So we go out to somewhere, we go out to do something. That event is the date. Okay. It's different from a relationship. So really. when you are dating, I'm you are going out with a particular person. When we were in a relationship before marriage mm. where we always going out where we always having events so we're, we're not we're definitely not at home most times so yeah we're not at home because <laughs> we didn't have we didn't have houses to ourselves we're still staying in our parents houses so let's just go straight into it um i know a lot of people want to know like someone asked in our last video what okay. our attraction okay was like what made me attracted to you uh -huh. did you already mention what's made yeah you I, to I, I i replied to that comment but for the good of everyone who had the question who has the question in mind i mean we'll just talk about it in this video okay let me go first okay my major attraction was just that you, i was a fine boy i am that a fine is number that's not the first one well, that's not the first it. one yeah it's part of <laughs> it you loved the lord mm. yes and you knew the lord too thank you jesus <laughs> so that was that was the first thing i've never voiced it out before but somewhere in my mind even right from when i was growing up i, be, I always wanted someone who knew the lord not someone i was trying to make you know serious in church somebody i'll be dragging to church <laughs> somebody that you know i'll be teaching oh, god's word i'll be the person will be arguing with me i don't want any of that brothers sorry for cutting in okay. baby brothers husbands would be husbands all of you who are of the opinion that your wife is the spiritual <laughs> commander of the house you are just the provider you do things it's, not scripture. it's, 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 your, it's your wife that prays at night for the home <laughs> <laughs> my brother you are not leading well let me yeah. tell you the truth the bible says the thing that thou doest in the book of numbers the thing that thou doest <laughs> It's not good. Maybe we was talking about you um, guys there. It's not good. <laughs> as the husband, as the leader of the home, you lead in every respect. You lead in every regard. And primarily, you lead spiritually. Yeah. Don't, don't be that brother. Don't be that guy who delegates spiritual leadership to the wife or uh, to his woman saying, hey, she'll pray for me. Uh, I went to work and I'm tired. Uh, please, don't be that brother. Lead. Like you said, I wanted someone who was going to be a spiritual leader. I ne I didn't necessarily see myself marrying a pastor. <laughs> In fact, I never saw myself marrying a pastor. Let me just leave it like that. And uh, but when the pastor is fine, you know, will let me talk. Calabar. <laughs> I don't have strength for you. I'm just trying to manage my strength now to do this video. <laughs> so uh, that was the first thing. That was the first. Like we said in our last video, like we explained. That was the first thing that drew me to you. Yeah. And then, of course, good looking. But it was at that time, your dress sense was not... Maybe my dress was not sense... Dear. My dress sense was not bad. I was making do with what I had. It was not bad, but it was... It was... Guys, I had 
three trousers in university. Work. I had to work. <laughs> three trousers in university. Three trousers in university is not bad. Now, why you say that? If it's one, I had one jean, one not, black. Nothing like jean, jeans, a pair of jeans. Okay, I had a pair of jeans. I had a black trouser and black trousers. I had a pair of black trousers. Mm -hmm. You don't not black trousers. I had a pair of a pair, okay. and I had one white trouser. I remember that white trouser. I remember that white trouser. What about that big bulala one? That carton colored one. Amor. I told you that you should never ever try to wear it again and walk with yeah. me. So that's why I had three trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I made it with what I had. If you went to school in Uniben, the era I went to school in Uniben, people still saw me as one of the most fashionable pastors hmm. back in school. Or fashion, yeah, with my three trousers. If you were like that and you're a fashionable pastor, then okay, I had it. Not in my mouth, sure. I had a okay. legendary blue suit. Uniben CFIs would always remember that suit. <laughs> so yeah, you actually looked good and you had potential. So I. I'm someone who likes to, who loves to spot potential in people oh. and, you know, grow it, develop that potential. <laughs> I like that you were also confident. So at that time, eh, it was very, very, it was so much, it was too big. The ego was too big at that time. I had to, <laughs> I had to do a lot of trimming. Wait, would you call it ego? Yes, no. Okay, so you could see that, you know, I was very confident, but he was not proud. So it's it's ego pride now. Yes. Okay. So how do I maybe that's not the right word to use, but you are a very you are you are rather a very confident person. But when you come close to him, you see that okay, he's not looking down on anyone, he's not talking down on anyone, but he just you know has this um positive vibe about him. Everything about him is perfect <laughs> to him. <laughs> So he's the best at anything he's doing. He doesn't yes. talk down on himself, you know, and that's that's one thing I really liked. And then I liked that you were also very emo emotionally mature. I needed someone who was very, very emotionally mature because when it comes to emotions, I still had a lot to you know, work on. Not the one that me and my husband and I are yeah. not trying to balance <laughs> ourselves. From emotional damage. <laughs> As in, I, I was dealing with myself. So to start dealing with my husband that I'm, no no your boyfriend then oh, sorry my bo boyfriend boyfriend it's the first time you're saying she's oh. boyfriend guy you're in a relationship with hey! fiance future <laughs> fiance <laughs> oh it has to be a word for it boyfriend my boyfriend okay off the top of my head those are the things i can think of right now that mm. really attracted me to you for me the things that attracted me to my wife in this order number one the fact that she had her heart for the lord that was the most attractive thing if you watched our previous video where we talked about uh how we had no feelings for each other when we started uh, our relationship or when we started dating i mentioned that i was attracted by the fact that she was giving attention to me when i was teaching god's word so it showed me that her heart was for the lord number two somebody in our last video mentioned in the comment section that my wife could still go ahead and compete for miss universe and i know my wife is the <laughs> my wife is the most beautiful woman in the world yes hey and i'm not apologetic you know what i told you about his confidence like now it's is rubbing off on me like anything he has or anything that is around is the best perfect. yes it's perfect best. my wife's beauty was obviously an attraction it is also important that you find the person you should be physically attracted to the person yeah it's not like it's the most important thing but then it helps the chemistry of the relationship another trait i really found sweet to, to, to be really sweet about my wife was her teachability is her teachability because my wife is still very teachable a teachable person is someone that automatically has a humble spirit if you are willing to learn it means you have put yourself in a position where you can be impacted by the knowledge of another person and that for me was was really beautiful the fact that my wife is super intelligent because we could have when people say then relationships and all the questions they ask themselves are Hey, how was your night have you eaten i don't i'm not able to understand that because going through the relationship i had with my wife before we got married we had really intellectual conversations yeah. she could sustain a conversation intellectually like beautifully so i forgot to mention he's actually very very intelligent he's book smart not just book smart 
I don't want to say street wise. You're not. You're not for the streets. I'm not for the streets. Never been for the, streets. Been, no, the, for the streets. streets. The only reason why I not graduate with first class in school was because, because I was not interested. <laughs> because it was that's the truth. Ministry, I'll, ministry I'll, relationship. My, my love, it's not. It's not because I was in ministry okay, relationship. Actually, actually, it's not. I was not interested. I I was just not interested in that academic academic thing. Maybe it was because of the course I studied, or it was because of. I think, I think two of us were not interested in our courses. We we're not interested in our courses, <laughs> and it was also because of where my heart was. Yeah, my heart was. I don't want to say it's because of ministry. I did not graduate with the first class. No, because that, that's not right. true. People actually Good, still because you are I, very involved I, in you, ministry and, and graduate with uh, yeah, and great well results. But the thing is, I was not interested and. It's not like it's a great thing. It's not a good. It's not not, not even great. It's not a good thing. But that was that, that's my story, and that's the reality of things. I was not interested. But then I graduated well. My wife is creative. Ah, I call her the goddess of creativity, the goddess of content. Yes, take your flowers, babe. You <laughs> deserve it. Yes. <laughs> so, no, no. Right. Thank you. Thank Love you, so baby. Much. Love you too. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the break in transmission, we just had to do... We've already talked about this, but just for the sake of this particular video, how did you know I was the one that you were going to get married to? Okay, so for me, it was very direct. I knew supernaturally, right? By supernaturally, like we mentioned in the previous video, God revealed it to me. But here's the, here's the important thing. It's very possible that God could tell you or reveal something to you and that thing does not work out. Hmm because so, human beings their human will. beings have their will human beings have their, their own choices. decisions and their choices to make and the lord will not superimpose or force you into anything yeah. he's not a tyrant i mean it is will that all men come to repentance but not all men will. that's why i was still preaching the gospel because not all men are saved yet yeah. i knew by revelation that she was going to be my wife however we had to build a relationship we had to see that compatibility yeah. and never for once until after i had proposed to her four years later never for once did i tell her god told me you'll be my wife never even though i knew in my spirit even though i knew in my heart that she was the woman i was going to get married to i wanted our relationship to be organic original authentic and real i never wanted to use that my uh, spiritual authority as it were to you know mm. cajole anything and here we are today she's the mother of my son <laughs> okay so how i knew like i said i saw myself with someone who loves the lord. the lord so that was the first thing the fact that you know you were caring of course like i mentioned before you were already very caring and then i knew that you were the one i was going to get married to while we were dating like we said we had a lot of discussions yeah. we exchanged a lot of information with within ourselves of course it was five years so much information being exchanged so i saw compatibility i saw that you were someone who was willing to see my dreams come true to do anything within your power to see my dreams come true who was willing to create that environment for me to grow for me to become the best version of myself i could see how selfless you were with the mm. sacrifices you made even till now you are still very selfless so um all those things just made me know that there's no other place to be yeah. those things supersede physical attraction very true thank god the physical attraction is there oh. <laughs> thank god is there it's because a, it's, it's a very good plus yes it's a, a very it's, very it's, good plus it's a great plus I marry someone who is kind to you you guys saw my video my pregnancy video that went viral <laughs> lord you don't need me but somehow <laughs> you love me you want me oh somehow you want me when will you ever start getting lyrics of songs right it's okay you people saw me <laughs> my pregnancy video that went viral. He never for one day, like he was even saying, he didn't even know that I had changed. I I had no idea. I I I, I was finding it hard to believe, but he never saw me as different. The only thing he would tell me is that I see your big nose. Of course, that was obvious, but he never, you know, made me feel bad for the physical changes that happened to my body, even if it was going to remain like that. I never felt insecure that okay my husband is looking at me in a certain way uh that uh, i have to even after giving birth i didn't feel any you, pressure you, to you mean you, you mean that treat your wives no, don't worry just, no 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 we have to call it out because it's wrong you mean that treat your wives <laughs> as second class citizens when they are pregnant because 
the beauty is gone the physical changes have come in and just so many things are not as they used to be when she was you know just as you married her how, how do you how do you do it it's, it's a crime let's give them two seconds to answer with the way i'm looking at them they can't answer it's a crime mm -hmm. because it's next level wrong you put her in that state for goodness sake yeah. both of you enjoy the process she got pregnant and i mean i heard that some men said they, they can't stay in the same room with maybe we'll have a special video <laughs> maybe i'll have a special video for where i'll talk to men <laughs> because i have a lot in my heart to say men be, be a man yeah. Men be, be a man. man. Nice one. Don't be boys. Come on. Don't be boys. Yeah. If you see that the person you are dating is not kind, please, it's not worth it. Even if he has all the th other things that you feel, maybe he has money, physical mm. attraction, and he's spiritual in quotes because you can't be spiritual, not and kind, not bear the fruit of the spirit. Yeah. Part of the fruit of the spirit is what kindness, kindness. patience. You just avoid anybody that's not kind to you, sisters. Brothers too. If the lady is not kind, yeah. So so yeah. it's not so it doesn't look like I'm I'm not saying anything for like a one sided. Yeah. Or, yeah. But while we're dating, were there doubts in your mind about me at any point? N e v e r never, <laughs> never. There was never a doubt. I trust the authenticity of God's word in my spirit. I value it all my life. What God says to me. For that reason, there was never a doubt. Did we have times where we argued? You know, yes, we did. But somebody asked if we were ever separated while maybe we said, we, we said okay, we're not dating ourselves again. We got separate ways. Then we're not. Never, never. Did we have arguments? Mm -hmm. Yes. Those it's arguments awesome. led us to have what we would create a special video for having hard conversations. Mm -hmm. And those hard conversations brought us to a place of deeper bond and uh, conviction deeper convictions better bond yeah. and in, improved the overall health of our relationship so i never had any doubts did you okay for me would i really say is doubt i was finding it difficult to accept that somebody could love me 100 percent because i always felt like there was there's something there's a catch somewhere <laughs> right from the beginning of the relationship would tell me that oh, i love you 100 the i love you was so strong do you really love somebody wholeheartedly and you know have no doubts at all because they've always said me that he had no doubts somebody that said he wanted to marry me right from the start in my head before anybody thinks of marriage do you have to date first see how possible it is you do one or two I am, i'm not talking about the one or two you're thinking about but i'm talking about you know have experiences i was thinking that we had not had enough experience maybe you have not seen me in my worst state yeah to love me as much as he was saying that he did but eventually at, i think you actually saw me in my worst state while we did me you saw me when i was sick when i was in my weakest moments physically mentally every wise he saw me at my worst moments but his stance and his behavior his attitude towards me never changed because consistent of of who you are <laughs> okay that's for god but i'm a child of god so it's who i am yeah. let me praise you why are you praising yourself okay <laughs> <laughs> so you already praise yourself now but i'll still praise you consistent too, yeah oh oh <laughs> glory to god <laughs> that, that was the only doubt i had that did he really love me as much as he was saying that he loved me and it took me some time to actually to actually accept that mm. but i eventually did it took some time maybe about two years into our relationship yeah yeah that's it for that mm. what were the challenges that we faced during our relationship okay it's i'm, I'm trying to rack my, my my brain to see if there's anything i can find what other people would have considered challenges when maybe they were challenges but we did not see them as that's such strange. for example for the most part we had bit of financial difficulty yeah if you know Benin city my parents lived at ikoba hill and her parents lived at aerodrome close that's somewhere in oh, ekewa so sometimes i would walk from ikoba hill right like i would trek from ikoba hill to ekewa just to see this lady to see did, this. did you actually trek from your house to my house i trekked from your house to my house Yes, that's the that's you try from my house to yeah. Yes now. 
Hey, you didn't even. I told you now. Which one are you? Are you, are you shocked? No. We talked about it. I kept you forgot. Wow. Yeah, sometimes that, uh, you know, I, I didn't want you to even know that I didn't have transport to go back home. So, just just look like a stroll. Sometimes I will even just go to my mother's bag. E1. Fine change. <laughs> and. <laughs> I didn't really see that as a challenge. I think why I didn't yeah, see I didn't that either. as a. We just saw it as a phase. We just said, good, we saw it as a phase. And for me, I was powered by a dream I had. I was powered by the fact that I was invested into my skill set i was investing into my knowledge i was investing yeah. so into... we're never not doing anything yeah we're not redundant yes so we're whatever redundant. we're doing we're investing in ourselves in our knowledge our knowledge bank so it, di it didn't really look like you know there was no hope because yeah you know when you're in a learning process you don't expect to have the results immediately mm -hmm. so that's that's how we're looking at it like okay we're both in a process we're both in a phase the end was going to be worth it so yeah we're just we just had to put in the work put in the sacrifice the time and that's exactly what we're doing clocking the time putting the effort eventually it was going to pay off yeah and by the grace of god we are seeing the results today yeah. in what i do as an entrepreneur uh what you do as a creator so i i wouldn't say we we had challenges so i think we're done with that Mm. the relationship and dating phase let's talk about how how we got married how we got married <laughs> okay